Hi, I'm Katie, and this is your Galco Industry News Update. This week, we'll be talking about a power plant that captures CO2 from the air, SpaceX successfully reusing rocket capsules, and Eaton and Powen teaming up on an exciting new project. Climeworks has launched the world's first commercially operational plant capturing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The Swiss company plans to compress the carbon dioxide it captures and use it as fertilizer to grow crops in greenhouses. Developers say the plant will capture about 900 tons of CO2 annually or the approximate level released from 200 cars and pipe the gas to help grow grow vegetables. While the amount of CO2 is a small fraction of what firms and climate advocates hope to trap at large fossil fuel plants, Climeworks says its venture is a first step in their goal to capture 1% of the world's global CO2 emissions with similar technology. Climeworks developed its technology to capture atmospheric carbon with a filter using mainly low-grade heat as an energy source. During the capture process, CO2 is chemically deposited on the filter surface. Once the filter is saturated, the CO2 is then isolated at about a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. The pure captured CO2 gas can then be sold to customers in key markets, including commercial agriculture, food and beverage industries, the energy sector, and the automotive industry. The new plant is intended to run as a three-year demonstration project. In the next year, the company said it plans to launch additional commercial ventures, including some that would bury gas underground to achieve negative emissions. SpaceX has now achieved its fifth successful ground-based landing for its Falcon 9 rockets. But what makes this most recent launch so special is that it was the first time the rocket company reused one of its Dragon cargo capsules. The Dragon previously flew on SpaceX's fourth cargo resupply mission for NASA back in September 2014. It remained in space at the International Space Station for nearly a month before returning to Earth. The real success for SpaceX here is showing that their capsules can be used in multiple launches, just like their rockets. The fact that SpaceX can reuse both could mean great savings for the company and reduce launch costs for NASA and other clients. The company hopes to continue its rapid pace of launching every two or three weeks with a mid-June mission flying a Bulgarian communications satellite on a Falcon booster that launched satellites from California earlier this year. SpaceX says it could refly as many as six used Falcon 9s before the end of 2017. Powen Energy, a manufacturer and developer of scalable energy storage systems for commercial and utility customers, has teamed up with Eaton to deliver a 2 megawatt energy storage project in the Los Angeles Basin to support regional electric capacity and grid reliability. Eaton provided a utility scale energy storage inverter, transformer, grid interface switchgear, low voltage switchboard, B-line series cable tray and commissioning services. The project will incorporate a 2,000 kilowatt Eaton Power Expert Energy Storage Inverter, which provides some of the highest power ratings for grid-tied utility-scale storage projects and an 8,000 kilowatt hour Powin Battery Energy Storage System. The Powin Energy BESS is interconnected on the Virgo 12 kilovolt distribution lineout of the Astrilla 6612 kilovolt substation and can deliver 2 megawatts of power for over 4 continuous hours, providing a reliable and continuous source of energy during peak demand events.
The equipment combines POW and Stack 140 energy storage system that includes our proprietary BPOS software with Eaton's Power Expert Storage Inverter. Plus Eaton's electrical solutions with real-time communications and diagnostics help reduce operation and maintenance costs while enhancing systems responsiveness. The energy storage system deployed by POW and Energy and Eaton demonstrates how quickly each system can be brought online to address our energy challenges. That's it for this week's industry update. Tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.